So this week, I'll be talking about the birds in the center I'm currently interning for, Blue Mountain Wildlife. Just a warning, this is more likely to be a serious science-based documentary kind of video about the birds. <laughs> So Blue Mountain Wildlife, or BMW, is located in the northeast of Oregon, and we receive patients from nearby regions. Some of the areas that we receive the most patients from are Walla Walla, Enterprise, Yakima, Baker City, Richland, La Grande, Ellensburg, etc. My job every day at the clinic is pretty much cleaning, feeding, and giving treatments. As for the patient in BMW, we have both non-releasable animals and animals who are currently being rehabilitated. Most of them are raptors, but we also have some game birds, some birds, and mammals. The term raptors refer to birds of prey. In ornithology, it refers to birds that have really good eyesight for finding food, strong feet for holding food, and a strong curved beak for tearing flesh. So as you might already have realized, the term pretty much includes those with similar morphology, rather than those in a same monophyletic clade. But all of the members of raptor belong to this very big group called Teluravis? Teluravis, I think? To be honest, I don't even know what's the correct pronunciation. I'll call it Teluravis because they're aves. Teleravis includes two main clays, Afro-Aves and Australavis. Vultures, hawks, eagles, and owls belong to the former, along with other non-raptors like hornbills, toucans, etc. And falcons belong to the latter, along with parrots and passerines. And there are plenty of passerines. They make up more than half of the bird species. A large percentage of the birds here in BMW are red-tailed hawks. This one, Ruby, who is actually an education bird, is at least 27 years old. She's even older than I am. She was found hit by a car, I think, back in 1993. That was even before I was born! I like how each of the animals here has their own story and personality. For example, Daryl and Daryl, the turkey vultures. Yeah, they're named after each other. Not so creative, isn't it? They like to follow me and peck at my feet, probably because my feet smell like animals' carcasses. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Sometimes they like extending their wings like a totem and turning them back to the sun to burn off the parasites on their bodies. This sunbathing behavior is actually seen a lot in other bird species as well. BMW also has a lot of eagles. These two bald eagles are actually a pair. They laid three eggs, but they broke at least one. There is still at least one egg in the nest right now, or at least that how it was the last time I checked. Anyway, bald eagles usually nest up high, but these two actually cannot fly, so they decided to nest on the ground. They don't really have any other choice, it's not like they really decide anything. Much like other raptors, bald eagles do not really have strong sexual dimorphism, so it's pretty hard to tell which one's a male and which one's a female. One of the few ways to tell the sex in bald eagles is the difference in size. Females are usually a third of the size larger than males. As for the owls, we usually have barn owls. They are evil! Western screech owls, great horned owls, Snowy the snowy owl is currently the only snowy owl we have in the center. Yeah, this is the same species as the one in Harry Potter. The members of fal falconiform... Fal Falconiforms? Nah. The members of Falconiforms we have in BMW are American Kestrel, Prairie Falcon, and Peregrine Falcon. Fun fact, Peregrine Falcon is the fastest animal on Earth. It can reach the speed of 242 miles per hour. Golden Eagle is at second place with a speed of 200 miles per hour. Apart from raptors, we also have passerines. One of the most well-known groups of passerines is corvid, which includes jays, magpies, crows, and ravens. In BMW, we have a stellar jay named Stella. She is a very clever bird. She gets excited whenever we have kids visiting. Maggie the magpie is also one of our non-releasable birds. Despite of the name, Maggie is actually a male. He is currently sharing the same pen with Daryl the turkey vultures and an American crow. American crow is one of the most typical corvids. A few days ago, we received an American crow nestling, and I'm responsible for feeding him every hour. There is one very interesting behavior of crows at this age. Every time they eat, they poop right afterwards. But notice how he dumps his waste. He points his tail outside of the nest and boop. This is actually very similar to baby kestrels, and is thought to keep the nest clean. How interesting is that? Their hygiene habits are even better than mine. Back to afro aves, the group that includes most of the raptors. This group is also comprised of a large amount of non-raptors, including pisciforms, 
which are toucans and woodpeckers. Northern Flicker is a kind of woodpecker. We took in this little guy a few days ago. This is a great example of altricial young, in which the baby was born helpless and requires care. In birds, some of them were born naked and blind. This flicker cannot see where the food is, but I found out that if I tap on his head before feeding him, it's much easier for him to locate the forcep. If you look a little bit closer, you can see him sticking his tongue out. Woodpecker's tongue is extremely long, so long that it has to coil behind and wrap around the skull to fit inside of the bird's head. This also helps woodpecker stabilize its skull and make sure that the brain doesn't get bashed when hammering. Dove is one of the few species we have in BMW that does not belong to Telorabies. This baby dove we have is an Eurasian color dove, and they are actually an invasive species. This is a bird guidebook published in 2000 and this is like the range of the Eurasian colored of back then but nowadays they're pretty much everywhere for comparison this is my bird field guide which was published in 2017 and this is the range of Eurasian colored dove nowadays. So yeah my job every day is pretty much taking care of these birds and making sure they're doing great. There are days when everything is great and we don't receive any call about injured animals but uh, there are also days we have to witness bone fractures um, x-rays of a bullet inside of a patient's body, or blood parasites through the microscope's lenses, or a genetic deform that disables those animals for good. Some cases we know for sure that they will never be able to heal. Some of the damages are just too much. Our job is rehabilitating the birds and releasing them to the wild and making sure that they will be able to feed on their own, but some injuries affect their predatory abilities. So we have to approach these cases differently by the most humane way as we can possibly do. Yesterday, I saw a short ear owl whose wing got penetrated by a barbed wire. The wing was totally destroyed. A lot of humans creation is killing them off. Something just as simple as windows, birds smash their heads into the windows a lot of times, or electrical wires, wind turbines, even cars. A lot of birds come into the clinic because they got hit by cars. The reason why I'm so interested in animals is because of their diversity. You know, it's like collecting Pokemon. Without the part that we trap them into small little balls and make them fight each other. I hate to think about how human activities affect and kill off the last few individuals of a species and lead that species to extinction. You don't want a Pokemon to be wiped off of the Pokedex, do you? I mean, I'm currently only seeing a very small portion of animals enduring these effects of human. Who knows what other horrible things are out there? Poachers taking down rhinos just for their horns? Hunters brutally smashing baby sea lions heads for their skin? Look it up, it's very gruesome. I know that it is nearly impossible to stop this once and for all, but I hope that one day I can do something that at least alleviate this horrendous situation. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment below telling me what you think about all this situation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good weekend. Whoop! I went everybody's head about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird's a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. Well, a bird is a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. Well, a bird is a winner, well, a bird, bird. The bird's a winner, well, a bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner, well, a bird. You look so confused. <laughs>